Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see the recruitment news from BEL Bangalore. So if you have at least three months experience, then you are eligible for applying for this recruitment. Okay, so if you have at least three months of experience, I would suggest you to watch this video. Okay, so we'll see all the things in detail, the selection procedure, application procedure, salary, qualification, age limit, everything we'll be seeing in this video. Okay, so let us move on to the first thing, which is the post for which they are recruiting. So this is a recruitment from BEL Bangalore and the post for which they are recruiting is trainee engineer 1 with 100 vacancies and project engineer 1 with 125 vacancies. So this is a big recruitment happening. Okay. So the qualification they are saying is first for the trainee engineer 1 post the qualification is you should be having either BE or BTEC or BSc in the branches either electronics or electronics and communication engineering or electronics and instrumentation or electrical and electronics or computer science or telecommunication plus three months experience okay for the trainee engineer you only require three months experience okay so that is the qualification details for the trainee engineer one and the age limit is 25 years is the maximum age limit okay now moving on to the project engineer qualification details the project engineer qualification is you should be having B or BTEC or BSc in electronics or electronics and communication or electronics and instrumentation or triply that is electrical and electronics or computer science or telecommunication and you should be having plus two years of experience. Okay, so for the project engineer you require a two years experience and for the trainee engineer you require only three months experience. And the age limit for the project engineer is 28 years. Okay. And also they have said that if you belong to the general category, you should be having a first class in the B, BTEC or BSc. But if you belong to the SCST or the reserved categories, you only require a pass class. Okay. So that is the qualification criteria. In B, BTEC or BSc, you should be having first class. Only then you are eligible if you belong to the general category. But if you belong to the SCST or the reserved category, you only require a pass class. So that is the qualification detail. Now moving on to the selection procedure. There is no written examination, only there will be an interview. Okay, so the selection process weightage is like this. For your uh, mark for the qualifying examination, that is B, B Tech or BSc, they have given 75% weightage. For your experience, they have given 10% weightage. And after that, you will be called for an interview and the uh, selection of people to the, the screening of people will be based on 1 is to 5 ratio. That is, if there is one vacancy, they will be calling 5 people. That is the ratio they are following, 1 is to 5 ratio. And after that, they will be conducting an interview. And for that interview, they have given 15 percentage weightage. Okay, so that is the selection procedure. There is no written examination, only interviews there. Okay, so that is the selection process next let us see the salary details okay so before seeing the salary details i want to tell you that the trainee engineer recruitment is happening for three years the job is for three years it can be extendable okay based on the extension of the project so trainee engineer recruitment is for three year job and project engineers job period is four years and it is again extendable now the salary details is for the first year for a trainee engineer the first year salary is 25,000 per month. For the second year, second year the salary is 28,000 per month. For the third year, the salary is 31,000 per month. So that is the salary details for a trainee engineer. Next year, for the project engineer post, the salary for the first year is 35,000 per month. For the second year, the salary is 40,000 per month. And for the third year, the salary is 45,000 per month. And for the fourth year, that is for four years, the project engineer post is for four years. It can be again extendable. But for the fourth year, you'll be getting 50,000 per month salary. So they have given the salary details also as a in a clear format. Okay. Now, the job location is not just in Bangalore, but across the India for various locations of BEL, they are actually calling. Okay. So that is the the stipend and the salary details and all now how to apply is you have to apply online they have given uh, in a clear format the application link is given in their website you can you have just have to click on that site and you have to you have to apply by entering all your details and you have to also upload the necessary documents 
the necessary documents they are saying is your 10th certificate be btech certificate your cast certificate if you are uh, applying for some cast relaxation then your experience certificate and your photo and signature so you have to keep all these things or your all these documents ready in a scanned format before applying okay so you have to upload all these documents only then the application procedure is completed okay so that is the application procedure now the fees for applying is for the trainee engineer there is a fees of 200 rupees and for the project engineer the fees is 500 rupees okay so that is the fees detail and also you have to remit the fees using sbi collect so that is the fees detail and the procedure of paying the fees now the last date for applying is 21st of november is the last date for applying okay so this is the golden opportunity there is only three months experience they are asking uh, for the trainee engineer so if you have a three months experience uh, in the given field they are also specified the field in which you should be having the experience so please do see the notification if you think that you are eligible please do apply for it as soon as possible okay so that is a recruitment from bel so i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching